Hello, this is Let's Play FB Games with episode 89 of WWE 2K14 Universe Mode. I know this is not how we normally start off an episode, but... Oh, you wanted to see me? Mick Foley sh shot across the room and... My Paul M. said I'm resigning from this position to focus on my client Brock Lesnar and saying that Mick Foley th he thinks Mick Foley is the man to take over. Great, when do I start? Next week. If you win your gauntlet match tonight, McFoley's asking who his opponents are. Paul Heyman saying Jack Swagger and Tony Cesaro, CM Punk. Well, this is a shocking development to say the least. And then McFoley's on his way out, he's saying you got it, you son of a bitch. And Michael Cole saying it's a shocking development to say the least, and it is a shocking development. Um, but we've heard that Paul Heyman's booked a massive show. Uh, for his last possible, possibly last night on the job. If Mick Foley doesn't win the main, uh, the main event, then he he uh, won't be. Um, he won't be going anywhere. Paul him won't be going anywhere. So opening show got uh, Devon De uh, taking on the Sandman. And then we've got Christian taking on Zack Ryder in the second match, and the third match is where it gets uh, big. Goldberg beat Razor and Moni the last week or two weeks ago. I can't remember. Um, so, it, Paul Heyman's given him the title shot that he deserves. Um, then, the big match here, Rob Van Dam was originally supposed to face Daniel Bryan at Anarchy Rules, but uh, instead, he's facing Bri uh, Paul Heyman's feeling generous, so he's letting Van Dam face Daniel Bryan tonight. And then, the main event, of course, we've got Mick Foley in the gauntlet match, taking on Jack Swagger, Antonio Cesaro, and CM Punk. If Mick Foley wins this, he becomes the new ECW general manager. So it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a brilliant night. It's going to be a brilliant night. This is Paul Heyman's possible, uh, possibly Paul Heyman's last night on the job. So he wants to make a big show out of it, and this is probably the biggest show he's ever done so far. I clicked on the wrong button. Yeah, heavy. Uh, volume to twenty, so we can get underway with a massive ECW. Probably the biggest ECW so far. ECW before the draft as well. So Mick Foley is going to have to control who's coming to ECW in the draft. As uh, If he wins tonight, that is. That's got the way with some ECW. Oh, Well, what I forgot to do at the start of the video, I forgot to shout out someone. Uh, this guy on uh, Twitter who does a universe mode as well, under the name Project, who I've been watching quite a bit. Uh, I like his universe, so he's been asking for a shout out. So shout out to Project, he does a really good universe mode. And um, I will include his channel link in the description. Um, yeah, so... He's, he does a really good universe mode. He's done 77 episodes so far. A bit behind me, but he'll catch up, I'm sure. He's not got as many episodes to do as me, so... Yeah, so shout out to Project. He's doing a good job. Hope he keeps going, because I like his universe mode. And he's apparently going to marathon mine, so... During the summer, he's going to marathon mine, so that's going to be fun for him. To watch a terrible quality video. But here comes Sandman. Well, sorry, 95 after this quarter videos, but by the time it's summer it'll be a lot more, so... We will be over 100 shitty quality videos, so... Sam, man. All sorts of fired up for tonight. Sandman's always fired up though. He's Sandman. Also, if my sister comes in, I might have to shout down to her to tell her that I'm in because mum and dad are uh, next door uh, having drinks with neighbours, so 
if my sister comes in and shouts up, I might have to shout back down and say I'm here. So, if you hear that, then yeah, that's what that is. But, without any further ado, I've got a bit of gas because I was drinking some Dr. Pepper before I started playing this. Well, so, <laughs> without further ado, let's go and do it with the first match of the evening. So, let's start final, uh, possible, possibly be our final uh, ECW under Paul Heyman. I'd say now I think about it, I don't doubt it will be. I doubt it will be because, well, Mick Foley's got the odds stacked against him. Or should I say, uh, Heyman has stacked the odds against Foley. But tonight, Paul Heyman has booked a brilliant card. If he's going out, he's going out with some style. He's got the ECW World Television Championship on the line. And he's also got um, the world title on the line. The only reason he hasn't got the tag titles on the line is because, well, Bubba Ray isn't here tonight. He was supposed to be, but he couldn't make it, so... That's why the tag titles aren't on the line, but... Devon's got his hands full with the Sandman anyway. Sandman with the cane. Sandman. I'm going to have to sort out uh, the custom wrestlers' move sets at some point. Because... I make them and I can't be asked for the move sets because it takes too long to do and it gets boring after a while so what I'm going to have to do is instead of just doing the signatures and finishes I'm actually going to have to give them proper move sets I don't know if someone has a move set in this game I highly doubt it but you never know if he does I'll use it if he doesn't I won't and that goes for all the custom wrestlers if they have custom move sets in the game I'll use them if they don't I won't maybe they'll have cut angles because they wanted, to, they wanted to put him in the game, but I don't know if he wanted to be in the game, actually, because they put his uh, angle slam in the game, so... I don't know. But I, didn't know, I don't know what happened with that, so... Uh, anyway... Sandman and Devon here. Sandman's had the other control. Oh, Devon, though, the belly to belly. Now Devon going to get extreme, getting a baseball bat. Someone getting his cane. There's quite a bit of stuff I need to edit tonight on some of the wrestlers anyway, so I might try to do some move sets tonight. But if I get bored, then I probably won't. It's my birthday soon, so I'm hopefully going to be getting some uh, new games for the Xbox. Some which I might play through, but I might not because I've got this universe mode. If I can, uh, if I can get a um, a video of universe mode, and if I get a new game that I like and play a series of that, then I could maybe get one of each video out each day, which would be pretty good because then I get my videos going out. But it depends what games I get actually. And we're going to see the diving leg drop through the referee's legs. No, we're not because Sandman has changed the camera angle. Um, I'd just like to point out here that this is supposed to be a diving leg drop. Uh, he slams Devon down on the cane. He goes to diving leg drop. It turns out to be a diving leg drop on the trash can, but Sandman's alright, so it's okay. <laughs> Uh, but um, Devon's hurt, and there's a Russian leg sweep on the cane, and that might be it. But he's that's not his finisher leg sweep. That's just a a, a normal leg sweep, a normal Sandman sweep. And Sandman, oh, athleticism on the cane again. Now going for the pinfall. That's gonna be it. Oh no, Devon's still going. Been a good match so far. Oh, Sandman falls over the can. Oh, sorry, the trash can, the bin, whatever you want to call it. Oh, no, Devon going to use it to his advantage. No. Nope. Yep. Yeah. 
If Mick Foley does win the gauntlet match tonight, he's going to be hoping that the ECW pick up some gold superstars in the draft. I haven't explained how I'm going to do the draft yet. Well, uh, how I'm going to do the draft, I'm going to... Um, well, for Raw, there's going to be a Raw superstar in every match, and then alternating uh, between ECW and SmackDown. And then for ECW, there's going to be the same. There's going to be an ECW superstar in every match, uh, alternating, alternating between Raw and SmackDown uh, for their opponents. And then for SmackDown, it's going to be SmackDown guys uh, alternating between Raw and ECW for their opponents. So that's I'm going to do the... Um, Matches. There's going to be, um, I think, four single. Uh, no. Yeah, uh, maybe four singles matches or uh, three singles matches. Right, four singles matches and a tag match, or um, three singles matches, a triple threat, or an a tag match, or uh, three singles matches, a fatal four way, and a tag match, or something like that. So we're gonna have a tag match just so it's like six people against uh, six people. On like so, it's four wrestlers, uh, eight wrestlers all together in singles matches. So that's four on each side, plus the two in a tag team match. So that's six on each side, and making it even between the alternating brands because if it's like five matches and they're all singles matches, then one guy's uh, one brand's gonna get an extra chance to get a um, an extra guy if you know where I'm going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the tag match in there, whatever happens. Probably won't be many ECW tag matches though, because as you know, we've not got many ECW tag teams. We have got some. We've got uh, the Dudley Boys, obviously. I don't know if the Million Dollar Corporation is still together, but we've got them. We've got the Real Americans and we've got 2MB. That's all the tag teams we've got. Uh, Big John Studd and Big Show um, quietly broke up without uh, trying to make sure no one noticed. So, well, did you see that? I'm sorry. That was pretty cool. Did you see the weapons fly though? Uh, look at look at the weapons. Don't look at the leg drop. Look at the weapons when Sandman did his leg drop though. Just look at the whole screen. Boom! Up into the air. Alright. I don't know if that's realistic or not, but you know. But I have, uh, just want to check something again here. Leg sweeps with the... Alright. Leg sweeps with elastic. Alright. I want to try to land this on the uh, cane, so... Oh, Russian leg sweep on the cane. Devon's got to be done. One. No, Devon kicking out. And now looking for the set power bomb. On the cane. I think the set power bomb there was on the cane. I did press the pin combo, but it's obviously not registered it, so we'll go for the pin anyway. And that finished Devon off. The uh, the power I don't know if it was on the cane but I think it was so I'm gonna say that the power bomb happened on the cane. Sandman picks up the win to open ECW, the biggest ECW so far. Up next, as you know, we have Christian taking on Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder's been doing all right as of late. He won a match against Goldberg. He lost a match against Goldberg. And I think he beat someone last week, but I can't remember who it was. So, Zack Ryder's been doing well. Christian also has been doing well. He got in that contenders match, but lost it. So, maybe not so well. If you close your eyes and the truth
What reaction? Barely any. Oh, there's more. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Woo. 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 Sounds like a police siren. Woo. Right, okay. Let's go. Let's freaking blow this giant into pieces. Oops, wrong button. Nate. Oh shit. Shit. This is gonna. This is gonna be a pretty long episode of ECW, what with the title matches and then the gauntlet match. Uh, I always want, as you know, I always try and put on the best title matches I can. So they might be about 10-15 minutes, and then the gauntlet match will take a while because I've got to defeat three guys if I'm playing as Mick Foley, which I haven't decided yet. Um, uh, if, it, if I don't play as Mick Foley, then maybe it won't take as long. That means I'd have to play Swagger unless I go back to the menu, and I can't be asked to go back to the menu, so... I might just play as Foley, I don't know yet. Um, I might just go back to the menu and play as Punk. <laughs> I don't know. You have to wait and see. I'm going to play in the main event, though. Playing all the matches, as per usual, because it's boring if you're just recording them, because usually if you don't play them, things don't go your way, and you want things to go your way. Maybe that ruins it a little bit, but I, that's that's how I play it. And if you don't like it, go pee on yourself or go pee on someone else. Did I even turn the volume down? I did. That's good. All right, so let's check. Now I'm getting beaten up for it. God damn! All I want to check was the volume, Christian. All I want to check was the volume. Ah! Now the floor of an EDT. Is that Grider going up top? Is that already missing? And now Christian's going to take advantage. We've been saying that Zack Ryder's has been getting a lot better, but Christian has been growing as of late. Uh, growing in aggression, that is. Check out the ring there, but okay, it wouldn't register it, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, I don't know, see what Christian gets. Okay, table. Have a good diving clothesline. Right, they're going top rope. Oh, wow. Is that right? They're elbowing Christian through the table. Now showing off. Love the ET on the outside. Is that right with the fist pumps? Is it me or is that right? It seemed a lot more arrogant since he's going to ECW and start winning. Oh, well, I'm not even allowed to get a weapon. Alright then. Okay then. Sorry, Christian. I didn't know I wasn't allowed to get a weapon. <laughs> wow, is that Ryder just bloody Christian? Is that Ryder just woo woo wooing again? Christian taking forever because he's getting another freaking table. No, freaking isn't. Okay. Looks like I'm not going to be hitting the brusky boot. Looks like it, doesn't it, Christian? Or maybe the referee fucking moves his ass. Maybe not then. Oh, ref distracted me. Come on. Uh, Christian, what are you doing? You don't dance with the table, all right? Oh, he's setting up. Okay. Just say no, okay. Well, I'll put you through it then, don't worry. Oh! Are you freaking joking me? I was trying to go for a limb target and move on the head, and it came up with a freaking Zack attack. Put him through a table. Oh, wow, miss. Okay, get up. Get up, you old bastard. You bastard.
Oh, Christian. Oh, Ryder through the table. Did you see that? Dropping him through the table. Well, that's going to be it for Ryder. Christian get the cover. Can Christian get the cover? Christian wasting time here. Christian, Christian doing? I don't know, but it looks like he's doing something energetic. I don't know. Okay. Well, that worked out well. Bulldog on the outside by Ryder. Is that Ryder just continuing to taunt Christian? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jingle all the way. Okay. So, Jack Ryder and Christian are both hurt now. It's been physical. And we've wrestled, what, five minutes? Five minutes, if that. Maybe six. Um, but, oh. They're only Christian. They're throwing extra momentum. Both needing the momentum if they want to go for the title. And we've heard that uh, if uh, Mick Foley does win tonight, if Mick Foley does win the gauntlet match, then he's bringing a new superstar next week. A new superstar on ECW. Sorry, a new extreme competitor on ECW. I wonder who that's going to be. Oh, I know, it's just going to be a surprise. Christian, what, what are you doing? All right. Christian avoiding it and now going to work on Ryder. The ultimate opportunist Edge. I mean Christian. Okay. Uh, Edge is dead. Edge is injured. Out oh, injured. <laughs> oh Christian going for it. Ryder reversing it into an execution. Parody and Edge and Christian's not going like that, is he? I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get up, you bitch. Come on. Come on, you bitch. I want to deliver my rider, rider boot. I want to deliver my rider boot. Deliver my rider boot. Rider boot. Propping Christian in the corner. Rider's still getting a crowd to chant with him. And Wow, okay, that's... Pretty violent, but okay. Never seen this before, but okay. Oh, wow. Nice move by Ryder. And he's setting up for the, the rough rider, maybe on the trash can here. Maybe not, maybe just beside it, but the Rough Rider may put Christian down and out. Christian kicking out, how did he do that? Zach Ryder and Christian going all here. Both these men wanting momentum, both these men wanting to get closer to the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. And Christian with a signature, so Zach Ryder better watch out. Netbreaker! Christian reversal. Throwing Ryder into the corner. Oh, is that Ryder reversing to late? Christian kicking the corner. And we know it usually follows this. Not what's usually happening tonight because that Ryder's reversed it, but Christian. Zack so Ryder countering the kill switch, but it may not matter because Christian's got Zack Ryder in a sticky situation on the top rope here. Right on that trash can. Ryder kicking out. How did Ryder kick out of that, honestly? Honestly, Christian. I want to try this. I doubt it'll work, but I want to try it anyway. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in, Christian. Bring it in. Come on, come back. Leave me alone. Oh, shit. Uh oh. -uh. 
Do you hear that on Ryder's skull? What match these two are having? Uh oh. Uh oh, Ryder could be going through another table. Nope. Not yet, anyway. It's an ultimate beatdown of Ryder. Christian picking up the win over Ryder. But what a performance by Ryder. What a performance by Christian. What a performance by both these men. The baseball bat shots are just too much. saying that Paul Heyman wants to finish big and he certainly has been so far and we're not even at the title matches yet but well, we are now because Riz Ramon has got to defend his TV title against the man they know as Goldberg Riz Ramon Diego one of these men may be getting drafted well all these men could get drafted it depends how well Ron Smackdown doing the matches but there's going to be some drafts away from ECW and to ECW can be sure of that. This is going to be a good match, I guarantee it. Here comes the challenger, the man who beat Riz Ramon before in a man title match to get this opportunity. Maybe the new TV champion walking to the ring. We don't know yet though, the match hasn't happened. Here he is though. 10 billion fireworks light off as Goldberg comes down to the ring. Sometimes I wish the fireworks were super loud and then we wouldn't have to hear the commentator bit. <laughs> Pretty cool. But Goldberg now. Got his title, he's getting his title shot tonight. He was, he was supposed to be getting it along with Jack Swagger and a triple threat. Anika rules, that's what was originally proposed. But, well I didn't even, I didn't even announce that officially, but that's what I was going to do. But Goldberg said, no, I want this title shot now. And Paul Heyman gave it to him. So, we may have a new TV title holder in Goldberg. Jack Swagger still getting his uh, title shot on a Kirill. Slightly annoyed that he didn't get it tonight, but he says he can wait because the longer he waits, the more he prepares and the more Ramon will be weakened. Jack Swagger competing in the main event tonight anyway, so he can't be, uh, he can't be challenging. The ECW Television Championship is on the line. In Paul, what could be Paul Heyman's last night on the job because he's leaving to go to WWE to focus on his client Brock Lesnar, especially for his upcoming match against The Rock for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. So let's go. Oh, huge spine buster to start off. Jesus Christ, what difficulty is this on? This isn't the same difficulty as what it was when I did last. I, mean, I did Raw last night, and it's. Suddenly got harder because what I was trying to do in that last match, if you didn't know, I was trying to rough ride. You know that table that was like sort of bent over. I was going to try and rough ride a Christian through that to win the match, but apparently I couldn't kick out. So, well, well. there's a moment starting off well early against Goldberg, and 
who want to continue this pace. Power slam. Trying to hype up the fans. Oh, Goldberg's got a chair, Razor Ramon. Good idea to get away from Goldberg. Ramon getting a chair himself. Lining weight. Oh, no, Goldberg's got a table. Seen a lot of table breaks tonight. We might see another here. There's Ramon going across the ring, getting the other chair. Throwing it in the ring. Stealing the table from Goldberg, saying, Why don't we just have an all out brawl in the ring, Chico? <laughs> Goldberg was thinking about getting a weapon, but decided not to. Now he's coming back into the ring. And the second spine buster. Just missing the table there. On Ramon. I told you it was going to be physical. It has been physical so far, and we barely started. It's been pretty even between these two to begin with. I think the Goldberg's favourite though because he o he owns a victory over Ramon. Razor Ramon just punishing Goldberg on the outside. This may be the best strategy for Ramon because A, he can't get pinned and lose his title. And B, if he hurts Goldberg more on the outside, he delivers more damage. Continuing to DDT Goldberg. It's a good move by Ramon, but I think the fans make it sick of it. And Goldberg's got sick of it because Goldberg's reversed it. All over the steps. Ramon getting back into the ring. Wedging a chair in the corner. Wedging another chair in the other corner. Goldberg. Throwing the trash can, but Razor Ramon throwing Goldberg into a chair. And now I'm going for the pin. This could be it. Razor Ramon, dirty pin. Oh, Goldberg powering out, though. Not even done yet. Nowhere near done. Goldberg, power slam though by Ramon, me, we can Goldberg a lot, throwing his toothpick away, showing some heel mannerisms here, even though he's a face, but that's what the bad guy does best, the bad guy tricks people, and the bad guy going for the follow slam on the not self table, and uh oh, I think I may know what Razor Mo might be setting up for here. Maybe looking through the for the Razor Dead through the table. Oh, just missing, but. Wasting time going for the pin, but goes for the pin. Oh, two and a half. Goldberg just kicking out. Razor Mo is in disbelief. Ooh. Here's a man has got the advantage of Goldberg here. Goldberg's still kicking out though. Oh, spearing Ramon through the table. That might be it. Goldberg going off the pin. No, he's going to continue to punish Razor here for all the punishment that Razor's given him. Ooh, wow, that could be it. Goldberg with the gun. Shot. Thing. Oh. Goldberg got part of the table up his ass. Uh, not even realising it. And elbows to the head by Ramon. That might be it there. Giving Goldberg a saw head there. No, two and a half again. Goldberg continuing to fight out and. Ramon's throwing everything at Goldberg here tonight. Power slam again. Power slam might be it. No. Still not it. 
Second power slam. And power slam go going for the pin again. No. Oh, uh, Kohlberg. Throwing out of the ring. Ramon is getting angry now. Ramon is getting angry now. Going for the DT on the table leg. Just missing actually. I don't know what fucks up with those shadows, but okay. Um, now firing the fans up. Goldberg's not really had any momentum this whole match. Uh oh. Uh oh. Follow a slam through the table. That's got to keep him, uh, Goldberg down for a bit, at least. Now I'm on just taunting again. Getting a ladder. What's Ramon need a ladder for? Don't Ramon need a ladder for, but if you use it against Goldberg. No, Goldberg steals it. Use it against Ramon. Throwing Goldberg into the corner. They knock him down with his elbows again. Well, those elbows are painful. And, again, and now Ramon. Sendable ladder. What's, what's he thinking here? The well, he's climbing up one side. Goldberg, weary though. He's climbing up the other. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Here's Ramon falls off the ladder. He gets out of the way before Goldberg can do anything. Leaving Goldberg dazed and now going up the ladder again is Ramon. Oh, we're playing that game. Oh, Alright, okay. Hey, Chico, you know well, oh, Ramon going for it all and missing. Oh, Ramon's going to be hurt by that, definitely. Oh, no. Not on the outside. Not on the outside. Jack Hammer. Ramon's going to be done. Oh, no. Goldberg continuing to punish Ramon. Power slam. Now going elbows to the back. This is definitely going to be a longer episode of ECW because, well, it's whatever, however many minutes in it is already. So... Oh, come on, stop beating me up. Me, I'm just not awake enough. I'm falling asleep here as it is, so. I just hope I don't fall asleep while recording, that would be good. Razor Monk continuing to try and lift the fan spirits here. Oh, Choke Slam on the outside. Well, that's going to keep Goldberg down a little bit at least. There's a man continuing the punishment though. Wanting to try and punish Goldberg enough to retain his title. And he made done here, throwing Goldberg back into the ring. The ladder falls over. Oh no 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 no, into the chair goes Ramon. Wow, what a move. Ramon kicks out though. No bother, apparently. Come on, Goldberg, don't be a prick. Don't be a prick, don't be a prick. Come on, don't be a prick. Come on, don't be a prick. So he's deciding to be a prick, okay. So Ramon taking him down. Goldberg decided to be a prick and Ramon wasn't knowing any of it. Merciless, my like, Cole. 
It's a merciless assault on Goldberg. Maybe it's something worth keeping down. Fall away slam. There's a man still punishing Goldberg. Oh wow, that thing on the trash can. Don't you move don't know what you call that move, but he did it on the trash can. Um Oh no. Oh no. Oh not this, not this. I should have maybe set up a table on the outside to make it look even better, but I didn't, so but not this. Anything but this. Bye. No! Oh wow. Goldberg's definitely done. Maybe Ramon's done as well. How much more violent is it gonna get, said Lawler? Well, don't know, it's ECW. Very violent so far, what a match. Ramon somehow getting up and taunting. Oh no. Oh, what's he planning with that ladder? He's planning to do something. Throwing the toothpick out of the ring. Ramon waiting in the ring for Goldberg, which is a smart idea because although there are no count outside qualifications in ECW, he is um my sister. Uh I think it's my sister. Although I don't know, it might it probably will be my sister, but she's not shouted up so uh let me shut up. I'll shut down. But and anyway, I was say I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> so I hate sisters. <laughs> uh oh, power bomb by Ramon. Goldberg's done here. He's definitely done. He's more than done. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Goldberg's still a finisher. Not a good move. <laughs> wow, match this has been, though. I was going to finish it all off with that razor's edge, but apparently not. Power slam. It's going to be it. Goldberg's still kicking out. What's he going to kick? Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Ooh, to the job, Ramon. Goldberg closing in here. Oh, not again. Really? Really? <laughs> Goldberg got a single chance. Okay. Where's Ramon getting him there? Should never turn your back on the bad guy. For any circumstances. Oh, probably slam on the steel steps as well. Worst position, I guess. Most painful. Oh, another jackhammer on the outside. Razor Ramon's going to be destroyed. Both these men are going to be destroyed. Ramon, mostly. And I don't think Goldberg's done. <laughs> nope, he's not done yet. I thought he was going for a submission there. No. <laughs> Goldberg just wanted to punish Ramon now for what Ramon did to him. Reversal. To a power slam by Ramon. And this could be all over here for Goldberg. What a match, though. Said it was going to be a good match. It's been succeeded its expectations. Succeeded my expectations. But there's Ramon. Uh oh. Is Ramon's going to take him to the edge here with the 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 razor's edge. 
that's going to be it. What a match, though. Razor Ramon retaining, but what a huge match. What a match. So glad they put a belt on Ramon because now he doesn't do that freaky thing, face thing at the end of his matches. So I'm glad they put a belt on Ramon. Thanks for listening now. Daniel Bryan, Rob Van Dam. ECW Championship on the line. It's probably one of the hugest matches ever. Falling matches for the ECW, yeah, 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 Justin Roberts doesn't talk, so... We'll go straight to the match. Should be good. Should be great. really tired now. I don't want to rush his matches but I really want to go to bed because it's 11 o'clock. Uh, voice is going a little bit as well. But Van Damme, Challenger. Watch to beat his own drum. Asked for a title shot tonight. Paul Heyman said, yeah, sure. My last night, I want to make it as big as possible, so why not put the biggest title in ECW on the line? Well, possibly his last night. If Mick Foley doesn't win the main event, then it won't be his last night. But... Mick Foley's fired up, so... Never know. And this is just the challenger and champion announcements. I'll do it myself. And the challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing however much... Uh, Burping pound did you weighs? Oh, we're not at that bit yet. Okay, so this is a challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, where however much he weighs, uh, it's Rob Van Dam, obviously, because he's Rob Van Dam, so yeah. I'm not doing this properly because I cannot be erst. And the champion is obviously this man with the note written on his shorts. He is from Aberdeen, Washington. He weighs about 200 pounds. He is ECW World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan. He's about to hold a championship up like John Cena. Yeah, okay, so this is our main event. Well, not our, this isn't even our main event. The main event is the G GM oh boy, Gauntlet match. This, should be an outstanding match. this is definitely the biggest show. I think it's probably the biggest show together that I've had. That's including the pay per views, and that's including uh, all the shows. This is episode 89. It's probably the biggest. This is probably going to even be bigger than episode 100, although maybe not. I don't know. Um, this might even be bigger than... No, I'm kidding. It's not bigger than WrestleMania. Sorry, I've got the cable top caught between my toes. Um, let's go. One. Oh. Daniel Bryan thought he was going to put Rob Van Damme away quickly. 
This is going to be quite a high-flying match, I think. And quite a technical match as well. Rob Van Dam with the high-flying and, well, Daniel Brown was from high-flying earlier. Missing it, but it's proving a point, I guess. I'll be honest, I think these guys could have had a better match on pay-per-view, but... Well, it's Paul Heyman's last night. He has to. It's possible. It's possibly Paul Heyman's last night. He's got to try and make it as big as possible. I I understand where he's coming from, but uh, well, I think this match has gone a lot better on pay per view. But it's gonna be a good match nonetheless. This is definitely gonna be my longest episode. By longest episode, I mean longest like normal show episode, not pay per view because. Longest pay-per-view was uh, Extreme Rules because I did that all in one part, which was a stupid idea, but I did it all in one part and it was 2 hours 15, so uh, it's not going to be the longest show, but it's going to definitely be the longest uh, non-pay-per-view show, because the longest non-pay-per-view show at the moment is Raw, which was 1 minute 8, and yeah, it's definitely going to be longer because this is only 52 minutes and we've already started our fourth match, and I want this match to be a classic, uh, to be pretty good at least, anyway, and... Um, but I also want, uh, there's also the main event, if I play as McFoley, it's going to take a while. So, I hope you're all ready for a long episode. I hope the guy I shouted out at the start, Project, wants to watch all this. He might not want to, but if he does, then thank you for that. And Daniel Bryan reversing it into another pin. Backslide, one, no. Daniel Bryan has had the other control over Van Damme here, but Daniel Bryan always gets the other control. But we saw at um, Hardcore Heaven that he had the other control against Cesaro. That didn't change a thing. Cesaro got two quick roll-up pins uh, to go ahead 2-0. Uh, Daniel Bryan did bring him back. He won. Uh, he got the 4 all uh, and he managed to win the championship with a sudden death fall. If you didn't see that match at Hardcore Heaven, that was probably the best match I've ever done in my universe. It's not one of the best. Between Brian and Cesaro, I, th I really like that match, and I want to see a, I want to see another match like that. And I've got SummerSlam all planned out, uh, beside except the stipulations. I've got some stipulations planned, but some are just going to be normal one-on-one -on -one matches. And Brian going up top here, elbow, going up top again. This time for the diving headbutt. Whoa, hitting it. Banging it, banging it, banging it, whoa. Brian has got control of Van Damme early, but Van Damme not fighting back. This is going to be a big match. And we've heard that if, like, any champions um, get um, drafted, they will be stripped of their championship. So, for example, if Razor Ramon got drafted, he will be stripped of the TV title. Uh, if the, well, one of the Dudleys... Um, got drafted, then both Dudleys would have to, well, vacate their tag titles unless the other Dudley was work willing to work with another partner. Um, then um, also that goes to Raw and SmackDown. So, for example, if Randy Orton or um, Randy Orton gets drafted to Raw or ECW, or um, The Rock gets drafted to ECW or SmackDown, then they're gonna have to forfeit the titles, and they won't get the other brands major title straight away they'd have to fight for it so pretty much a disadvantage for all uh, major champions like Rock, Brian and Orton uh, oh yes look on the outside yes look on the outside I'm trying to weaken Van Damme but it's not working Van Damme breaking out not that it matters it's on the outside but Van Damme doesn't want to tap. Van Damme doesn't want to go down as a guy who tapped to Diane Bryan, but. Oh, he manages. Well, Diane Bryan releases it, I guess. Oh no, Van Damme bringing out the trash can. No. Well, I thought he was going to go for a trash can there, but. Oh, uh, Van Damme trying to go for that flip kick, but missed. Now, Brown. Oh, drop kick into the barricade. Wow, 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 wow. Brian. It's definitely. Sorry. Oh, shit. Um, Brian has definitely had a lot of control of Van Damme in this match. 
that's not what I wanted right to go with it, but okay. Um, Danny Bryan maybe going for another diving headbutt here. Danny Bryan's definitely dominated Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam set, thought he was prepared for this match tonight, but maybe he's not. Maybe Daniel Bryan is just overly prepared. Rob Van Dam doesn't actually look that well, to be honest. But, oh, wow, he turned it around. Snap suplex though by Brian. Brian definitely had ha, has had a lot of control in this match and wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised at all if he retains, especially after that move. And now going for the kicks. Kicks that Brian is famous for. Rob Van Dam has had almost little to no offence. Maybe he shouldn't have asked for this match tonight. Maybe he should have waited till Anarchy rules. Maybe he should have gone for it then maybe Rob, Rob Van Dam does need to turn it around though he looks a bit pale but CCW you have to fight you have to fight you have to fight what you preach oh Van Dam with the shoulder block though maybe coming back here getting a weapon maybe yep getting the trash can Daniel Bryan maybe looking for something no 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 Van Dam's got the trash can and that's put Bryan off Brian trying to get away from Van Damme, but oh, Van Damme connecting, connecting again. This might be a comeback for Van Damme here. This trash can. Yes, he's definitely going to go on a bit longer than normal episodes. Paul Heyman's last night, we've got to throw a big shebang for him. Oh no. Oh no. Van Damme's got to be done here. Van Damme's done. Van Damme is more than done. And Daniel Bryan. Fucking up. Dive onto Bra uh, Van Damme, but Van Damme avoids somehow. Oh no. Oh no, a sledgehammer. Anything but a sledgehammer. Daniel Bryan prevents it. Daniel Bryan definitely is all business. He has been in this match so far. He's not even let Van Damme get any offense in. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. This might be it here. Van Damme trying to break out. Bryan trying to wrench it in. Neither man's getting either what of what they want. Van Damme can't break out. Brian can't wrench it in. Brian releases it. Oh, the kicks again. The kicks again. Kicks again. Daniel Bryan has dominated Van Damme. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Running knee time. Running knee time. To finish it off. Wait, Van Damme still breaking out. Van Damme still fighting back. How is Van Damme doing this? Uh oh, Daniel Bryan. Desperate times do call for desperate measures. Is he really going to do this though? Is he really going to win it like this? No. Nope. Van Damme gets back up. Van Damme. Bleeding now. Try to feck it in Inzaguri, yeah?
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Is he really gonna do this? Is Brian. No, Van Damme gets out of it. Brian just knocking him down again though. Brian may be going for it again. And this time it may keep Van Damme down. Oh no, no, no. Concerto. It may not have connected as well though, because Van Damme, I think, may have got out of it a little bit there, yeah. Van Damme back to his feet. Didn't, get it, didn't connect as well as it should have done. Oh no. Oh uh, no, 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 no. Brian has it now. Brian has it now. Brian goes for roll up. No, 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 no. He doesn't have it yet. And down. No, oh, now it could be over. Enziguri again. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, Concerto. That that connected. That more than connected. Brian, I didn't I didn't think Brian was stooped to that level, but Brian has stooped to that level and he's going for the pin. And Brian retains after the Concerto. That's disgusting by Brian, but he won. He's all right with it. Maybe he's turning heel. We don't know. We can't tell. Anyway, moving on from that. First of all, Great Khali's not even been... He's been in my universe like four times, if that. And second of all, he's never going to be a champion in my universe mode. And third of all, him and Brian are not even speaking the same language, let alone friends. So let's just ignore that Kali brian segment. Brian, maybe he's showing some slight heel tendencies here. Concerto in Van Damme, he had to... He want, he needed to give the concerto to Van Damme to keep him down. Here comes with the gauntlet match. The biggest match of Mick Fuller's career, definitely. In my universe, that is. Definitely the biggest match in my universe so far. Mick Foley returning tonight because Paul Heyman called him and said, "Oh, you've got, you've got, you can get the GM job." So he called Foley into his office when he got here and said, "Yeah, you've got a GM job if you defeat these three guys." So Mick Foley somehow manages to overcome the odds. Then uh, we're going to see a general manager change, and Brock Lesnar is going to just go to. I mean, Paul Heyman is just going to be managing Brock Lesnar. Jack Swagger's up first, and Foley's going to have to go all out here. Right. So first man's in this match, Jack Swagger and Mick Foley going to start things off right here, man. Foley wants this GM position. And Foley's going to fight all out to get it. Oh, good work on the turnbuckle early. Jack Swagger, though. Taking advantage. Should never turn you back on Jack Swagger. Foley's going to need to pull out all his hardcore moves here tonight to get Swagger, Cesaro and Punk beat. I think this is, these are these are odds that even Foley can't 
fight against Oh wow, running knee by Foley. I don't think I've ever seen that by Foley in real life, but um, yeah, this is the main event of ECW, a very lengthy ECW. I apologise. It might be Paul Heyman's last night, so we'll give it. We're sending him out with a huge show. It wasn't originally meant to be this big, but uh, I had the idea. I thought, why not? Sounds like a fun idea. Plus, it gets Mick Foley back in my universe if I, if he wins. Uh, well, he gets him back in my universe anyway because in this match, if he loses, then. Well, we've not even had the punishment for if he loses, but I think if he loses, he will ever become the general manager. And I think he has to uh, never... Well... I don't want to ban him completely from ECW, but I think it will be that he never gets an ECW World Heavyweight Championship shot. I think that's a fair thing. Foley reverses it. Knocking Swagger down. Foley has definitely had control. Bang bang! Foley knows he has this in the bag bag. So let me check. I don't think I've played Foley in this universe mode yet. Um, under the claws wide, the land DDT is elastic. Okay. So. Oh, Foley good for the roll up. No, so I can break it out. Foley though. Double arm DDT, that might keep Swagger down. <clears throat> oh, Swagger kicking out. Foley keeping on going now. Foley not not stopping the beatdown. Foley doesn't want to leave the company. ECW, well, extremeness is Foley's life. Foley wants to keep in the business as long as he can. Try to call Swagger up. There's a voices in my head. I don't seem to come in near. You never hear the shot that takes you down. Now it's time to say goodbye. Oh no, stump puller pile driver, stump puller pile driver. That's gonna finish him off. Swagger's done. Oh, here comes a former number one contender. For the uh, ECW Championship, and Fuller, Fuller going for the Mandible Claw straight away. And it won't work because Cesaro's not even been hurt. <laughs> Oh, Cesaro reversing it. Foley's been on the roll. I don't think so. anyone could stop him. Especially, well, Cesaro might, actually. He was the number contender, and he had a hell of a match against Brian. At Hardcore Heaven, so... But Foley beats Swagger with these, and looks like he's going to beat Cesaro with these, too. The exposed turnbuckle hasn't been used yet. Just looming in the corner. Oh, Swagger. I mean, Cesaro, sorry, with the belly to belly. It's because Swagger always does belly to bellies. I recall Cesaro ever doing a belly to belly. Or at least not often, anyway. Maybe he has. I just don't notice. <laughs> oh, knocking Cesaro down and Foley. Like I said, Foley's going to do anything to win. And he's wedging a chair in the corner. Pulling out, di digging deep in his hardcore bag of tricks. Foley. Foley going for the pin. One. Oh. Fuck off, ref. CCW, I can hit as many refs as I like. Um, but, um, 
No, for the second pin, one. Oh, I thought that was actually going to get Cesaro down there because it was kind of a delayed count, delayed one count there, but nope. Foley, though, with the running power slam. Foley's been dominant so far, and maybe this could be it for Cesaro. Nope. Nope. These two men had a roll up first. Kick out by Cesaro. Oh no, Cesaro catches full in the slam. But he never actually does a pink on both for some reason. I don't know why. I always try and do a pink on both it. That's how I feel like I don't want to. Um, Cesaro may get drafted, so I may get drafted. You never know. Don't really have plans for them in ACW at the moment. Now that they've both come for their respective titles. Oh wait, Swagger's still got a uh, rematch, hasn't he? Anika rules. Well, if Swagger gets drafted, maybe he won't get that match. You know. I don't. I doubt. I doubt. Um. I doubt the fellow who goes lost, Brian, and actually use a concerto. Brian, I don't even know why he used a concerto. I think he just wanted to keep the title. But remember, if Brian gets drafted, he's got to give up that title. I remember if Foley does win, we're going to have a, debu a debuting superstar next week. A, star, uh, a guy who's actually on the re old real ECWs. A guy who Foley is pretty close with. And now there's another stunt puller pile driver and Antonio Cesaro lifting him up. Oh, Cesaro reversing it though. Foley also reversing. Oh, double arm DDT. Cesaro's gonna be done. Especially for that stunt puller power driver. Here comes the final challenge. Foley's gonna be a bit weakened here. Actually, no, he doesn't because he's barely been hit. But Punk. Well, he actually struck a deal with him and then. Him and said that Punk could keep him as manager. Punk will get another title shot. So this has got this has got um, repercussions for Punk as well. Good repercussions. I don't know if you get good repercussions or bad repercussions, but Punk will get an ECW title shot if Foley doesn't become manager. So yeah, that sounds good for Punk. Punk may get drafted though. Pongo, Punk's scouting Fuller here. Doing a pretty good job too. Punk going to work on Fuller. Taking him down with that clothesline line and Punk definitely got the early advantage on Fuller here. Oh, Punk missing and Fuller trying to catch Punk but can't but he does now and power slam of Fuller. Foley says he's got to find a way of keeping Punk down. Apparently Punk's going to be the hardest to beat. Punk taking the bell. Foley's originally going to use, but Foley's taking the bell back. Uh, the bell back, sorry. And using it on Punk. Punk seems unfazed by it, though. But this has been a brutal match so far. Oh, DDT right on the bell. Foley's fired up. Foley doesn't care about Punk's title shot. It's all about Foley in the GM position and getting Paul Heyman out of here. ECW fans have started turning on Paul Heyman as of late because he's managing Brock Lesnar. So, Foley wants to just try and get... Uh, who out of here? I guess. Bang bang, bang, ba 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 bang. Fuller definitely got the advantage here. Is 
Atomic drop. Now putting him against the announce table. What's fully got in mind here. Fully said he needed to keep Punk down. This may keep Punk down. Double arm DDT through the announce table. Punk's busted. Punk is busted. Fully needs to get Punk back in the ring though to go for the cover. And now Punk managing to somehow get back up. And somehow managing to counter the belly to belly. Uh oh. Fully kicking out one. Fully's been barely hurt by Swag and Cesaro. Fully's been steamrolling tonight. He's prepared. Punk continuing to taunt now. Fully. Well, Punk was taunting Fully. Had enough time to recover. And now, power slam. And I'm going to be running out of memory soon, so I'm going to have to maybe end this as soon as possible. But Punk, though. I let people hit comebacks now because it's better and it makes a, a match more dramatic so that's why I'm not pressing any buttons. Usually if I if I do uh, try and reverse comebacks it like reverses them on the first go and I don't want to do that shite because I like it being more you know uh, you know dramatic and Foley apparently is in bad shape here. Oh but Foley reversing it. One. Punk. Kicking out, but uh oh, uh oh. Nope, go to sleep. Best by McFoley. Foley though. Go for another roll up. Punk kicking out again. Bang bang! Foley feels like he's on the verge of something here, maybe a drum manager position. Stump puller! Stump puller! There's the pile driver. Foley says he needs to keep Punk down one way or another. He thinks the only way to do that is to, well, to weaken Punk as much as possible, obviously. And trying to hit him with impactful moves and Maybe this is going to be it. Foley going to become the new general manager right here. No, two and a half punk kicking out. Mandible claw. Mandible claw. Punk continuing to fight. How does Punk still have some fight left? I don't know, but... Punk go. Foley reversing it. Two and a half. I think Punk was going to get out of that, but he did somehow. Telling, telling Punk to bring it. Punk, he's saying, Punk, you want your title shot, you have to bring it. Shooting the guy in the crowd, and Punk, reversal. Roll up by Full, this could be it. One, two, no. Full, they can't quite get it done. Can he? Well, he might. He's still got a chance here. He definitely has control, Punk. Oh, that thing. I forgot my calls that. <laughs> um, and now a second mandible claw may, may Punk pass out. And Ball is a new general manager. Punk's passed out. Foley is the new ECW general manager. Paul Heyman's gone. The era of Foley has begun. The era of Foley is upon us. The new general manager. And there he is. But well, what a night. Mick Foley lost some teeth as he saw there. Foley's definitely hurt. 
And I don't know how hurt because he steamrolled through for Zara and Swagger. He said Punk was going to be a challenge, and Punk was the challenge. Um, but before we go, we're going to see what the car, uh, what what's given us for main event. Uh, no, 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 and no. Well, maybe actually. Um, anyway, yeah, I was. Uh, that's a good match actually. I think I'm going to keep that. Um, but that is it for ECW. I hope you've enjoyed Paul Heyman's last night on the job. Got a new manager, general manager Mick Foley. I'll see you tomorrow.